Okay, folks, let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. Looks brand new almost. Oh, well, it's going to be re it's going to be donated anyway. At least it's kept out of landfill, folks. And a poor person would really appreciate this. A poor woman, a woman who's really poor would appreciate this. Okay, let's see what this is. It is a, a lace bra. Some woman would appreciate it. Look at this, folks. Look how clean that, look how fucking unused that is. There's no marks on the, there's no wear and tear on the fucking clips. Who the fuck is this rich person threw this out? Some woman who's poor and begging on the street would love one of these. It would be real comfort to her to have something nice that she can feel, make her life on the street less embarrassing and less painfully Im dangerous, feeling vulnerable, not having a bra, a comfortable bra to wear. So fuck these bitches, these riches. These rich people can just go fuck themselves and their fucking affluence and, and how they don't know the value of money. They don't, folks. Bras are not cheap. How can a fucking homeless woman on the street afford a fucking bra? So you know what? Right. It's just horrible. And it's the same with tampons and pads, not having those either. Maybe not quite as bad as that, but still, it's bad. And it's just not fair that women on the street who are the most vulnerable have to go without these weird feminine um, things, these comforts, these feminine luxuries that are necessary in this modern world. Yeah, modern? This world's backward, more like it. Rich don't care. Rich couldn't give a fuck. This photocopier is getting old, folks. You heard that? Now I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. And my equipment is ageing and my phone and my computer are both ageing as well. So I'm really not happy with the progress of things when it comes to my stuff going to air. But yeah, these rich people don't know the, the um, value of money. It just seems that way, folks. It really does. It's really quite disturbing. It is. It's very disturbing how so many rich people just palm it off. They think it's okay to waste money and to not have have to scratch their asses looking for the next money, the amount of money that they need to feed themselves. So, you know, I really get sick to hell of this world, this have and have not world. Even I often go, um, occasionally actually, um, it varies. Sometimes it happens more often than not when I get a lot of expenses. And sometimes I manage to ride it out, cutting my expenses like my hot water usage. I wash, I only shower once every week. So I'm able to save a lot of money and I've managed to rack up, now I've managed to rack up a, um, a bit of, uh, what they call it? Uh, what they call it when you, credit? I think it's called credit. Uh, instead of being having to pay the power bill, you get credit. So I shower once a week instead of one, every day and I save a lot of money and it's summer so I'm not running a heater. So I'm less likely to get declined at the POS terminal in summer. 
uh, because the heater is just running things up. But basically, yeah. That looks really quite interesting. I think we can work with it like that. But yeah, it's very easy to get declined when you're on a low budget like mine. So I really hate being declined. It's a horrible feeling. It's like a sinking feeling. If you're a fucking rich person and you don't know what that feels like, it's a sinking feeling. It's not for, it's not for, it's not pleasant. And you're just trying to think, ah, oh, shit. You know, you got to wait till next pay. You know, and you're disabled. Yeah, I'm disabled. I haven't got that sort of money to play with. So I'm trying to get Channel 9 interested. But they're just a bunch of swine, really. They don't care. They just want to... They like to enrich the rich. They like to talk... talk. They like to stick their noses up the asses of the rich and famous and successful. They don't want to try and allow someone else a bit of a turn. You know, to let them have a turn at being rich or famous. You know, to be able to have a go at it. You know, fair go. Where's the fair go, folks? Whatever happened to the fucking Australian fair go? Answer that, Channel 9! Where did you, where, whatever happened to the fair go, you bitches? You fucking swine, you don't care about the poor. You are a of shits. You don't care about the disabled. Oh, you like to show it sometimes, but you don't want to show my material. I try my best, I work hard, I lose sleep. I try so fucking hard to make ends meet, to try and keep this going, to keep this campaign alive. I've worked, I've worked on this campaign for nearly 11 years. And you fucking, nearly 12 years actually, when you start with my social media involvement in things. But that's still, that's a, uh, a shit house. But basically, yeah, I really get so over this shit, Channel 9. I wish you'd fucking show me some fucking clemency. You know, you fucking like to help show off things that are rich and famous, or you like to show off d death, disease, disaster, destruction, damage. House fires, murders, car crashes, drug busts, crime, crime, and more fucking crime and grime. And that's shit. We're not going to use this in negative mode. It won't work. So I just get so over this shit, folks. All over this typical shit that they like to sprout on the news. And they don't care. Or you, It's all about celebrities and, and, and all that sort of shit. You know, it's like, fuck. When's a person like me going to have a fucking, yeah, fair go, the Aussie thing. It's an Aussie thing, folks. And Channel 9 are being very un-Aussie. You know, I know they like to talk about Australia Day and people winning OAMs and shit like that, Order of Australian Medals. Oh, what, what if it happened to people like myself who are just the, the little Aussie battler, the little underdog who needs a, a, a foot up you guys are not Australian. You fucking think you're Australian. You fucking assholes. You fuck twat. Fuck tards. Retarded monkeys. You're really useless people, Channel 9. I still rely on you. I have to rely on you. I, I'm going to keep making these fucking videos until you fucking give in. I'm going to keep sending you these fucking videos as long as this photocopier still works. As long as this phone still works. As long as my desktop still works. As long as I can somehow scratch together a bit of money, yeah, fuck yes. And that's come up a uh, that's come up quite a treat actually. I think we're going to now call this rant over.